everyone, welcome back to our Mevo live stream opening night 2018 Twin Cities Film Fest coverage here on our Skin Rejuvenation Clinic sponsor Red Carpet. This is our main event programming for our opening night and we have a we have a film all of us around here know this is going to be very significant come award season time because it's just that great. And I'm lucky enough to get to be your host tonight, Doug Sidney. I'm joined by the producer of Green Book, Jim Burke, who is a Minnesota native. He's from Edina. He's been a part of some other Minnesota projects, and this one, man, this is, you got to be a part of this. This is an amazing film. You had amazing, some of the, I think, career performances from some of your cast. I think so. Talk to us about being at the production helm of this, and your thoughts on the film. Well, uh, I don't, that's a big question, so. It is. I'm proud of this film. As you should. And we worked really hard on it. It's a movie that's uh, been so far very, very well received as an audience, a film that audience connect to, but it's about to We tried to tackle yes. an uh, issue of race and racial yes. equality and present it to an audience in a way that's unique. And it's based on a true story. Totally true story. And it is, I mean, we could say sprinkled, it is laced with hilarious writing and, and just smart, witty humor. Um, the relationship between these characters. Can you comment on some of the some of the actual aspects of the story? What what you saw between assembling this cast and putting them together and working on this and, and bringing this true story to life? Well, so the story is about uh, at that time the world's finest classic pianist played by and he went on a concert tour through the summer and he needed a driver above more. So he found uh, a guy named Tony Lip, who was the doorman at New York's uh, hottest nightclub, a little Italian muscle. He wasn't in the mob, but he was that close to the yep. And so Tony drove him on his tour through the South, and through that process, they got to know each other as two men of uh, different races, different classes. Yes. Um, and totally different background. Tony Lip had never been on the five girls, so he was discovering America for the very first time. And Don Shirley was a man. And, um, so it was their adventure through uh, the country that we live in, the United States of America, in 1962. So it talks about America, it talks about race relations, and it's of that time, but it also connects to the time. It so does because it, it so speaks to so many so many of the, the issues that in different ways we're still facing today. This film, it shines a light on it and it also speaks to that, the, the component of their relationship is from that era, very much a role reversal, which is very thematic. And again, I keep going back to the, to the, to the writing and the performances that were turned in by this. Um, you've talked about how well it's already been received. I would imagine that all of you as a team going into this had a pretty good idea and indication that this was gonna really, it was really gonna speak to audiences. We had a feeling, you never know. Yeah. Um, we had a feeling when we first saw sort of you know, flabby, longer cut of the movie mm -hmm. that there's something really good here and magical. Mm -hmm. Tried to work it down into the shape it's in right now and tested it and then brought it to a few film festivals. But by the way, there's a lot of people who didn't believe in it, and that's fine. I mean, if we don't live in an environment where these movies are called for. Most films are about, you know, superheroes and yep. Star Wars and yep. like that. So this is not a movie that anybody's begging for, but only because it's good to let people see it. So our um, biggest weapon is the film itself, and that's why we're having it at the Twin Cities Film Festival, as well as other film festivals, so yeah. that people can see the movie, and you all see it, you make your own decision on whether it's good or not. But if you think it's good, you tell me. Yes. And that's how I go to see movies. I don't see it because a bus drives by with a picture of a movie on it. I go because somebody I know tells me, that's one of the best movies. Yep. And then two other people see it, and they start talking about it. And for me to become part of that conversation, I have to see it. Otherwise, I'm out of it. 100% agree. Yeah. Yeah. And it's so nice of you to tell this film back into the you know, that, that you're glad it's part of the Twin Cities Film Festival because we're so glad it is. It's, I mean, we were so excited. It's our opening night. 
Gala film. And you, if we could talk about you for a second too, you have a very storied production career, producing career. Uh, you've worked with Alexander Cage. You've worked on Kumiko, which is a, a Minnesota project as well. I believe Cedar Rapids was. Yeah, we should. Right? No, we shot that in Michigan. But okay, set in Minnesota. Yeah, okay. set in in Iowa. Okay, Rapids, uh, yeah. right. Fictionally set. So. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Where do you call home now? I live in LA. I've lived there since 1982. Okay. And you maintain, you, you talked about having family and friends here, so you've got roots that are still here. Well, I mean, half the people here, you yes. know. Yes. <laughs> Tim Burke, producing Green Book tonight. So nice of you to join us. It is our opening night main programming project tonight. We're so happy to have it. And Jim's going to get to talk to the CW as well. I get to be your host tonight, Doug Sidney, here on our opening night coverage on our Skin Rejuvenation Clinic red carpet. Jim, thank you. We will be back.